Well, there are a number of high-profile candidates who have entered the race for the first congressional district representing urban Oahu, a seat soon to be vacated by Congresswoman Colleen Hanabusa. One of the candidates joins us this morning, State Representative Mark Takai. Good morning. Good morning. Uh -huh. Well, you're going to be going up against uh, State Senator Willis Barrow and Honolulu Council Member Stanley Chang, as well as Ikaika Anderson. So I, I want you, we've talked with you before about some of the, the items uh, that you feel strongly about, but I wanted to focus on this common sense candidate is what we called you before to talk about uh, how you would deal with Republicans there in Washington. Yeah, sure, that, that is actually a pretty appropriate label and I appreciate that. I think what I was talking about back then was uh, just, I think there's a lot of frustration about partisan gridlock. Um, you know, sequestration has had a tremendous effect not only for people across the nation but specifically here in Hawaii and we have to break this partisan gridlock. The gridlock is, is uh, is not helpful, it's not healthy, and it's just causing a lot of uh, pain and undue uh, damage to, to many people. So uh, you had said that it, basically your test was if it made sense, uh, common mm -hmm. sense, then you'd support it whether it was, whichever side it was coming from. A absolutely. You know, I had a great opportunity over the last 19 years to uh, be a member of the Hawaii State Legislature, and I've always uh, looked at that as an opportunity to, uh, uh, to support the things that are, are important. Uh, no matter who's introducing it. Um, I think I've introduced great proposals and uh, I, I have a lot of colleagues that have done the same and I, I just believe that if it's a great proposal we should embrace it. I didn't know this about you but you were a whistleblower back in college so I wanted to bring up, whistleblowers have been in the news mm -hmm. lately so I wanted to bring up the, the importance. Are they important? Should they be protected? Would you do that in Washington? It, it really depends. I mean I think in, this, in, this, in the uh, University of Hawaii when I was a student uh, we uncovered um, sexual harassers uh, found guilty of sexual harassment um, at the university and, and we, we, we broke those stories. I think that uh, it is appropriate to protect whistleblowers but on, at the same time in, in Congress I think one of the things that people are very frustrated of is no one in Congress or not many in Congress knew about what was happening with the NSA and I think it's important uh, for our executive branch to inform and, and keep uh, informing our legislative branch of what's going on. And I think part of the problem right now that we're having in, in Washington as it relates to the whistleblowers is that uh, people just didn't know. I mean, if people know that these um, programs exist, then we're okay. Uh, but many were surprised. We only, we're, we're running out of time here. I wanted to give you a time. What's the most important issue, the, the, the number one thing that you would focus on if you went to Washington? Well, I think we've got to break the partisan gridlock because there's so much that we need to do in Hawaii. Hawaii has a tremendous future, and the federal government plays a big role in it. Uh, I look at the economy as number one. We have to keep moving forward on economy because with a strong economy, we have jobs for people. We can support education opportunities and, most importantly, protect our Social Security benefits for our seniors. All right, fantastic. Thanks for coming in this morning. Representative Mark Takai, once again, running for the 1st Congressional District.